Oh, Netflix so be doing their thing. Honestly, sis. if you haven't caught CSI on TV, mm. why do you even have a TV? Bloop. If you're a guy like Rogelio, I don't like you. Just oh. Like, I'm just saying. <laughs> she just saying. Self absorbed. Like, get over yourself. Hey Hi guys. guys! Welcome back to our channel. We hope you are excited to see a new video from us. We're excited to see you guys. We miss you guys. What's up? What's popping? What's good? You know, what's happening? Um, so in today's video, we are presenting to you our top 10 best shows slash movies on Netflix. Um, Jay has five options. I have five options. We're going to have a variety for y'all. So if you want to keep watching, keep watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, you guys. Subscribe. 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 Okay. If y'all have any suggestions for what y'all want to see on our channel, just leave them in the comment section down below. We will be looking at those because we want to give y'all what y'all want. You know? And also what y'all need. Yes. That's why we're doing this video. This. That's exactly why. So keep <laughs> on watching and yeah. My first series would have to be The Carrie Diaries. This is for someone who just likes kind of fun, young. Like yeah. So it's basically like this teenage girl. She's like taking on the city of New York and she's developing her skills as a writer. It's a spinoff from Sex and the City. Um, so basically when she was younger but i have i can agree with jay i've watched the carrie diaries and i really liked it i liked it more than i thought i would like it mm -hmm. so just give it a try try out the first episode or watch like a couple of episodes mm -hmm. i've literally watched the series three times i like, probably watch it again it's so good i love it so my top netflix series i guess is oj versus the people an American crime story. Um, so if you don't know much about the OJ Simpson case, I didn't know much about the case and I kind of wanted to get into it. So I watched OJ versus the people and y'all, this series is so good. After watching, I, I became like obsessed with the OJ Simpson case and I watched like other documentaries. But if you're like, if you don't know anything about the OJ Simpson case, you should watch OJ versus the people. It is so good and it kind of it's like a recreation of the story so it kind of just takes you through like the court case and all of that and it's just it's really interesting and it's really good okay, so my next one is another series and the series is called shameless oh my gosh guys and i was what was this 12th grade year yeah or something it was over the summer i was watching the series and I was so obsessed. Like, this is the only show that I would talk about. And I'm not the type of person to watch, like, a bunch of different shows. But this show, I could not stop watching. So, basically, this show is, like, a dysfunctional family. And, like, the father is a drunk. And, basically, he has, like, so many kids. And his oldest daughter is, like, taking care of the entire family. But it's, like, it's, like, a comedy. Like, it's hella funny to me. And, um... Just think about the most dysfunctional family you could ever imagine, and that's them. Like, <laughs> it's so good to me. Interesting. I know I know a lot of people who've watched Shameless. I haven't watched Shameless because I'm not really into, like, comedy series. Mm -hmm. But if I do want to laugh, I'd probably give that a shot because but I it's know, not like, like... It's a different type of comedy. It's not I like... it could be too corny. No, it's not corny. It's like, it's like dry sarcasm. But it's not like they, like, sat down and wrote a comedy script. Mm -hmm. It's just naturally funny mm. if that makes sense. I feel you. I feel you. So my next option is actually a movie. I think it's a Netflix original. I'm not sure, but it's called You Get Me. So basically, um, this guy and this girl, it's Bella Thorne. That, that's the girl. No, but it's pretty good. So <laughs> she has a one night stand with this guy. And then after that one night stand, she goes like crazy obsession. She goes, she gets really crazy and she just becomes super obsessed with the guy. So if you like, it's kind of like thriller, <laughs> kind of like, I don't know, kind of like suspense. suspense. Yes, if you like that type of stuff, you should definitely watch this. It's so good. So my next pick is something that I'm currently watching over again, and that is Jane the Virgin. I love this show. It's like <laughs> such a good show. It's also like suspenseful and like, kind of like, 
leaves you on the edge, but it's like chill. Like it's a good just chill show to watch. It's about this woman who um she's a virgin. She's like in her 20s she's a virgin and she got artificially inseminated with another man's sperm accidentally um and basically she ends up falling in love with the man that um the man that's the father of the baby (laughs) and all this like crazy stuff is going down like his ex-wife is like crazy and like well, his ex-wife was sleeping with his best friend who okay. faked his death. And it was it's just crazy. But it's actually a really good show. And I really like it. And you should definitely watch it. Yeah, me and my mom have watched. So that's how you know it's good. If I can get my mom to sit down and watch, then it's so it, good. good. I love that show. <laughs> so good. So my next series is, um, I think it's it's just one season. But it's really good. It's called Girls Incarcerated. <laughs> so basically girls incarcerated is about these young girls who are incarcerated mm-hmm. but they're in like a juvenile yeah detention center and so it basically goes in depth about like their lives and like mm-hmm. their backgrounds and it just shows you the craziness of being in a juvenile detention center with a bunch of girls mm-hmm. um and then sometimes within the show you see the girls go home and you see how they like either get worse or get better mm-hmm. and so like if you like watching shows like locked up um beyond scared straight yeah those type of shows girls incarcerated is Girls Incarcerated is for you. It's so good. It's really good. And I like, I just, I like shows like that too, so. I watched that whole show in two days. Yeah, I finished it quick. quick it's too. so good. <laughs> and one of my favorite characters is like the youngest girl who like, she doesn't even have like a release date. Cause oh yeah, because she oh has like, her, yeah. That's that, so she cool. made me cry. I literally cried yeah, for that I cried, girl. I cried a couple times watching it Yes, too. it's such a good show. You should, oh. Yeah, you yeah, should watch that show. It's so good. It's really good. I think it's a Netflix original too. I it it is. Yeah. So my next show, I think it's like one or two seasons long. It's called Seven Seconds, and it's basically about this African American boy who gets hit by a car on his bike. Um, he gets hit by a police officer, and basically him and the rest of the police force try to cover up the crime that the police officer did and they try to blame someone else and then it like goes through the trial and like basically shows the whole process and how the little boy who passed away didn't get justice um for a crime that was committed upon him Mm -hmm. um so yeah it's such a good show like so y'all when i tell y'all this show is so (laughs) good Talk about some suspenseful. Talk about some juiciness, some action. Ah, this show is good. This show is good. <laughs> I've watched like three, four episodes, but I haven't finished it yet. I don't know why. I want to finish it, but I haven't. I haven't got to it. So it's like something you need to like watch this when you have time. Yeah, that's because my you problem. you're gonna need to like watch them back to back. The episodes are so good that you just watch them back to back, and they're long episodes. Yeah, so. they're long. I usually don't pick shows like with long episodes, but this one, y'all, let me tell y'all, it's so good. <laughs> okay. So, good. so my next series is Criminal Minds. Mm. Criminal Minds is a really good show. It's basically um, this team. They're criminal investigators. It's like a a group of five of them, six of them. So they get information about a crime, and, like their way of figuring out who did the crime is by like coming up with the person's like personality does that make sense Mm -hmm. so like yeah that's basically what they do and each time they solve the crime and they like find the person who did it i don't know if you like crime just watch it (laughs) it. it's really good it's it's a classic though like csi has been on for so long Mm -hmm. and if you haven't watched csi i'm like judging you because Sis, where have you been? Like that's that's just a classic. So my last one is a movie, and this movie we actually watched when we were um Mm -hmm. on a trip to tour a college, and the movie is called Hush, and basically it's this deaf woman who's like living in the woods, 
and like someone is watching her and like stalking her basically and she's like trying to escape basically I don't know how else to describe it that's just like the whole movie but it's so good it had me on edge your girl is like I'm I'm scary so I was on edge and yeah it was a good movie it's not really like scary scary but it's more suspenseful Okay, so my last, I have three that I could pick from, but I'm going to pick one, and it's completely different from the ones I've said. It's a Disney movie, it's, and y'all, if you know me, I don't watch stuff like this. This movie is called Coco. Coco <laughs> is such a good movie. Like, if you know me, I don't watch Disney movies like that. I'm not a movie person, really, because I fall asleep, but with this movie, I didn't fall asleep. I enjoyed it. I got teary eyed. It's really good. Um, basically, it's about um, Dia de los Muertos, and it kind of it's about like this family. I think they're living in Mexico, and um, it's about this little boy. He goes through this adventure, this crazy adventure. It's really good, and y'all need to watch it. There are people who have cried over this movie <laughs> because it's just that good. I think it's one of Disney's best movies. Mm. So yeah. But that is all for this video. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We have more videos coming and we also have a lot on our channel. So if you're bored or just, if you're not bored, just keep watching. Yeah, like, just go through them. We have so many interesting videos. So we hope you enjoyed and we will catch y'all in the next one. Don't forget to check out our social medias, which are linked in the description box and they would have been on the screen throughout the video. Without further ado, we'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.